now. Hello, this is Billy Core from Carolina Circle Mall, and welcome back to Nostalgic Christmas 2017. And today we're going to be looking at another vintage Christmas catalog, this time the 1990 J.C. Penney catalog. Now, what's interesting about J.C. Penney is that while their actual stores have always specialized in mostly clothing and fashion, the catalogs have always had more variety, much like the Sears catalogs. So anyway, we're going to check out their 1990 catalog, and this was the year I turned one year old, so I have no memories of this year whatsoever. Although from what I understand, uh, 1990 was still pretty much the 80s, <laughs> as we'll probably see when we delve into this catalog right now. So um, we're going to start on page 124. with, um, wow, the most retro-looking women's clothing ever. <laughs> ah, that, those colors, man. Those colors. <laughs> and now we're going to skip on ahead to 190 with some uh, vintage clocks and watches. Um, looks like we've got some uh, game watches. Um, not sure if those are the uh, Tiger ones, but... Um, Either way, they probably didn't play very well. <laughs> and um, we've got a Garfield watch that would be cool to have. Um, and, uh, of course, the Mickey Mouse watch. Um, those have always been popular. Um, I think I have one that my dad bought me when I was a young child. Um, and, of course, I'm pretty sure it's stored away somewhere um, safe. Okay. Um, now I'm going to skip ahead 100 pages, actually to page uh, 290. And um, once again we're greeted with um, sleeping bags and tents. <laughs> again, never really had many sleeping bags growing up, but I did have a few um, uh, tents, um, well, two I think. Um, my uh, most memorable one was the um, Sesame Street tent that I got when I was um, I think two years old in 1991, but that's not seen here. I like that uh, Garfield one right there, and the Snoopy, and of course Dick Tracy, um, that thing that was pretty popular back in 1990. Alright, we'll head to um, page 336, and we've got some uh, slot machines and gumball machines. Um, the uh, toy slot machines are interesting because my um, grandmother, when she was still around, had um, several um, toy slot machines and she um, gave me a couple. I remember um, when I was a kid breaking one of her um, slot machines, <laughs> but um, I don't think she ever found out about that, but um, I think it was the lever I broke. And of course the gumball machines, I kind of would not mind having an old um, gumball machine here in the office, but... I saw them in an antique store the other day, and they were very, very expensive. But maybe someday. Although I that um, Garfield one you see at the bottom, I do have that actually. It's not not in very good condition, but I do have it um, stored away somewhere. Okay, um, go ahead to three forty two. Um. I don't know why I um, selected that page. It's just fireplaces. <laughs> okay, maybe it was 352. Oh, well, we'll just skip over that then. <laughs> so we'll go to 342. Okay, I'm losing my place. <laughs> Help me, folks. Help me. <laughs> okay, we'll go to 372, I believe. And um, old-fashioned microwaves, um, complete with wood grain. you got to have that in 1990. Okay, we'll head to 390. And um, for the um, women watching, um, here's what dolls were like in 1990. Again, I was um, a boy, still am, so um, never really ha never had any of these. Don't know anything about them, but maybe you do. 
All right, we'll head to 396. And um, we've got miniatures. Um, the uh, I had I had a few of these. Um, although the oh, oh they do have um what I had um see that little um cozy coop there on that blue dollhouse I had that um the um I had the full size one and the um the uh, toy sized one. Wouldn't mind getting another of the toy sized one someday just to have around. But yeah, miniature versions of big stuff I've always been a fan of. All right, we'll head to four ten. And um, what I wanted to show on this page was the um, <laughs> Teddy Ruck spin you see on the left side there. Yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, it, um, back in the um, 80s, there was this um, teddy bear called Teddy Ruck spin that had a built-in um, tape player where you, where you would put in an audio cassette and it would um, read stories from that tape. And um, it would come with a book and everything. Um, this was before my time, but I've heard stories about them. <laughs> they were I've heard stories about them being cool and stories about them being absolutely terrifying. <laughs> so uh, four fourteen is where we need to head to. And um, we got new kids on the block. They were a. Uh, uh, Boy pop group um, popular around this time. Got a Garfield and a Bart Simpson doll. This was when the Simpsons were really becoming um, a popular thing. So we'll um, head just a page over to um, 416. Darn it. <laughs> and um, we've got big stuffed animals here. Um, the um, Big Bird on the right, I had that. I, I definitely did have that. Surprised I didn't have the Bugs Bunny, but, um, oh well. Alright, hit the 420. And, um, yeah, we got some little tyke stuff here on the right. Um, yeah, I always wanted a bunch of these, but I never got them, I don't think. I had a similar, um, kitchen set there that I got for Christmas in 1993, but I think it was a little bit different. Okay, now we need to head to 440. There's the um, Green Little Tykes tractor I um, talked about in the um, 1989 Sears catalog video, um, complete with the uh, the uh, cart that it, that would attach to it that I always wanted but could never find for sale anywhere in Greensboro or Winston Salem. That was a shame. I think I had that blue bike as well. Did not have the, the um, slide up there. So we'll head to 452. Hope this is um, bringing back memories for you folks. Um, it is for me, even though I wasn't um, old enough to remember this stuff at the time. And we got the video games right here. Um, we've got the Atari Lynx. Um, that's always a uh, that was always a cool little um, handheld. Um, it was very similar to the Game Gear, but um, I I had the Game Gear growing up, so I'm a little bit biased. So um, Game Gear is better, I think. And of course, you got the Game Boy that was awesome as well. I had the Game Boy Pocket growing up. I got that back in 1997. And the NES, of course, with the NES Advantage and NES Max controllers. And we'll head to 454, and we've got some Nintendo games there. Pause if you want to see more of that. Head over another page, um, and here's uh, the Sega section. We've got the um, Sega Genesis, um, back when it still said high definition graphics on it. And if you're wanting uh, to get a Sega Genesis of your very own, um, that's what I always recommend getting is the one that says high definition graphics on it because from my understand that had the better sound chip on it. <laughs> Even got a copy of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker there. The um, power base converter that lets you play Sega Master System games on it. And uh, we got the Tiger handheld games. Um, I had a few of those. I don't remember which ones I had, but I had some. 
Yeah, not fun. <laughs> All right, we're going to head to page 496. And the um, reason I want to show this page is because on the bottom left here, you see this wrestling ring. Um, well, my brother had one of, that, one of those growing up, and I remember him uh, messing with that quite a bit. Um, okay, 518. And we've got the um, Power Wheels Jeeps and um, all those good things. Um, the one here um, with the letter H next to it is um, the exact same one I had growing up. Um, except I didn't get mine until 1994, I believe. But as I mentioned before, I love that thing. <laughs> Drove that all around my yard. And um, I even have a home video of me driving it in... Um, September of 1995. I can't remember if I have it on the channel or not, but if I don't, I'll be sure to upload that. Okay, um, I'm going to head to 526. Oh yeah, um, top left here, um, this little uh, activity gym from Little Tykes. I had that. I got it in um, 1993. Always wanted one of these playhouses on the right, but I never had the privilege of owning one. But maybe my children will someday. They still make them. I don't know if they still make them right now, though. Go ahead to 556. And we got old fashioned landline telephones. Um, the one um, here on the left from AT&T, um, we had one very similar to that if not that particular one and of course this was when um, see-through telephones were, were a thing here on the top right would not mind owning one someday just for the um, novelty okay um, let's head to uh, 562 and <laughs> We got the old-fashioned boom boxes here. Um, what and of course, what's probably standing out to you is um, on the top right these colorful um, radios. <laughs> uh, the l late '80s, early '90s, bright pink. I still remember when that those colors were a thing. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna head over one more to 564. And um, we got some more boom boxes here, including um, some with CD players, which I imagine um, were quite a uh, luxury back then for $130, it appears. We did not have our first CD player until 1997, so up until then we were still listening to tapes. So um, we'll head to uh, 574. Getting close to the end here, folks. And we've got some old-fashioned tele televisions here, um, including this cool thing, a portable VHS player with a 4-inch um, color monitor for $1,100. Wow, that, that again, would have had to have been a luxury. And I didn't even know they made stuff like that until just now. So that is really, really cool. And, of course, you've got to have wood grain on some of these TVs because 1990. All right, one more page we need to look at, and that's 578. And we got some old VCRs here. Um, I really like the one on the top left um, with that pull-down um, control panel. That is really, really cool. $500, though. Probably was not cheap to come by in 1990. And um, we get a, you can get a 10-pack of um, blank VHS tapes for $25. And remember when these were a thing, VHS tape rewinders? Um, I never had one, but I remember seeing them for sale when I was a kid. So, and we got some camcorders here. And um, that's the end of that catalog. Um, I know this was kind of a short look, but um, again, I'll put a link to the full catalog in the description. And um, we've got one more catalog I want to look at, and I'm going to... And the, I'm planning on uploading that on Christmas Eve. 
and it's one that um, I've been excited to show because it's um, from probably my favorite era of um, of time and it has some really cool stuff in there so I think you'll um, really enjoy seeing it as much as I did so um, until next time this is Billy Core signing off thank you for watching my video if you liked what you saw please like subscribe and follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram the addresses are located at the bottom until next time, this is Billy Core wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.